You guys have clicked on this video for one reason, and that is to be able to do something like this. Well, in today's video, we are going to teach you how to do every single thing that involves the tell rule command and as well as titles and subtitles. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Now to start off the video, we're going to go through the tell rule command. Now, what is the tell rule command and what does it do? Well, the tell rule command allows admins or command blocks to be able to say specialized text in chat. The text can be customized like making it bold, italics, making it change color, and it allows everyone to see it on the server. Now, before I get into the tell rule command, there is a say command that I will go over, which basically allows you to say whatever, like you could just say hi, but however, you it only says it and it doesn't actually do any commands. Like you can... You can't change color, you can't do anything with it. It will say whatever you put after the say command, no matter what you put there. Now, let's go to the tell rule command. The tell rule command is a command that allows all players to see things. You can put a certain person's name. That makes it specifically so that person actually sees the command and no one else will see the text in chat. You can do all players, so whatever I type next to it will allow all players to see the message. Then you also have the nearest place, so the nearest player will actually be the only person who sees the message unless specified otherwise. Then there is the random, so you'll pick a random player on the server depending on how many people they're on. If it's just one, then it'll always be that person, but if there's more then two or three, then it will actually, it will just pick a random person and send that message to that random person. And then there is the current entity, which will pick the current entity that runs the command, which most likely will be the admin. So I'm going to do a, a for this example. Now you can put MBT data next to it. The MBT data can include tags, so whatever you want to put in the tag. You could do type. Yeah, you have all these options here to separate which player is going to get the message and which aren't. However, I won't be going over that in this video, and we're going to be going up just over the commands that I said in the title. In order to say your message, you're going to need to put two quotation marks. Inside those quotation marks is a message that's going to be sent out to anyone on the server that you put in this first section. So example, if I want to put, uh, hi, in chat, bam. It's going to now say it. No matter what you put inside those quotation marks, it will always be said on the server. As you can see, it now says you have 20 seconds in chat. What if you want to add color to your name? What if you want to do something like this? In this example, it is red and you can see it stands out a little bit more to the others. Well, to do that, type your typical tell raw command and to whatever play you want. And this time you want to put braces. And then inside those braces, you want to put in quotation marks, a colon and two more quotation marks. So then it kind of looks like a face in a way. Inside the first quotation marks, you want to put text. And then it should turn yellow, which means that the command is actually functional. Inside the second load of quotation marks is where you put whatever message you want the server to see. So in this example, you have 20 seconds. Let's just put that. And yes, if I press enter, it will do the exact same thing and just send out you have 20 seconds. Next, you want to put a comma and then two more quotation marks with another colon and two more quotation marks. And inside the first one, you want to put color, making sure it's spelt correctly. And then inside the second one, you can put whatever color you want. I'll put a list on the screen right now of what colors you guys want to choose. But for now, I'm going to put red. And so now when I press enter, you see that it's in chat and it is red. Now, what if you want to make it italic, bold, all of this random stuff. And to do that, put a comma, two quotation marks and a colon. However, at the end, we are not going to need two quotation marks. And what we can do inside the first quotation marks is put bold, italic, strike through, like whatever you want. There are a couple options. I'll show you an image right now on the screen of all the options you got through this. You can go through and test them all out. But for now, we're going to do bold. And then after the colon is where you can put true. Sometimes you can also put false if you really want to. That will be used later on. But for now... Let's do true. So as you can see now in chat, it says you have 20 seconds. That is red and it's bold. So it stands out a lot more. Now is where things get a little bit more tricky. So you want to do something like this, where it has the name right at the start of the message. And then it has the message. So it looks like the overlord is saying something to the player. To do that, type out your typical tell raw command at A or whatever entities you want it to be sent to. And then we're going to put two brackets. And then inside those brackets, we're going to put two braces. And then inside those braces, two quotation marks, a colon, and two more quotation marks. 
In the first quotation marks, we're going to put text once again. And then in the second quotation marks is the name of the entity or uh, main character that you want the text to be said from. So in this case, I'm going to put overlord. And then I do put a colon at the end to make it look like the overlord is saying it. You could put like a dash or something, or you could just put a space there. But I'm going to put a colon, and then I'm also going to put another space. So then as you can see in chat here, it has this little this bold colon here and a space to separate the name from the text. So after the last quotation mark at the end here, put a comma, two quotation marks, a colon, and then two more quotation marks. In the first one, we're going to put our color, and then we're going to put red. As I showed you earlier, it's the same thing. Now we're going to put bold. So put a comma, two quotation marks, and a colon. In the first one, we're going to put bold, and then the last one, we're going to put true. However, this one doesn't need any quotation marks. Now, outside the braces is where we're going to put a comma and then two more braces. Inside those braces is where we're going to put the second part of the text, which is this, as we're separating this text from this text here. So inside it, put two quotation marks, a colon, and two more quotation marks, as this is now where we're going to put the text once again. We're basically repeating the first part of this command. You could easily copy and paste this over, but I'll be going step by step with you guys. And then obviously you have 20 seconds as you're going to put whatever text you want in there. I'll just use that line for an example. Outside the quotation marks, put a comma, two more quotation marks, a colon and two more quotation marks. And in the first one, you're going to put color if you really want color. And then in the next one, we're going to put whatever color we want. In this example, I'm going to be using red. If you really want your text to be bold in the name and then the normal text uh, to be just normal text, well, you will have to add uh, bold and then false because if I send this out just like that, it will make the whole thing bold. So what you need to do is you need to add a comma, two quotation marks and a colon. And we need to put bold in here. And then in the final one, we do have to put false or else the whole sentence will be bold. But we want the second half of the sentence just to be normal text. So when I press enter, you'll see that it says overlord. You have 20 seconds. And that is really how the tellraw command works. Now, you can also add this into command blocks if you really want, so it can be timed and then set at a certain point in your adventure map or minigame or whatever you are doing with these commands. Now that we've gone through the tellraw command, it is time to do the title and subtitle commands. To do this, you want to put title in the command, as we're going to be making a title. Then, as I said earlier, you have the entity you want it to be said to. So put whatever entity that you want this action to be done to. And then after it, we're going to have these many options here. Now, the ones that we're really going to be focusing on is the title and subtitle. However, I will be talking about what each of these do later on. Title is the next thing that you want to put in the command as we're going to be making a title, obviously. And then we're going to put two braces. Inside those braces, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the tell raw command, and that is put quotation marks, a colon, and two more quotation marks. Inside the first quotation marks, we're going to put the text, and then the second one is the title that you want to be displayed. So if I put title in, you'll see that title is now covering up my screen, and then it will go away after a certain period of time. Now to change color, do the exact same thing by putting a comma, two quotation marks, a colon and two more quotation marks. In the first one, put color. In the second one, put whatever color you want it to be. And when I press enter, you'll see that the title appears in a red format. Now, if you wanted to do something like dark red or a light color, make sure to put dark and then underscore and then the uh, darker version of that color. Because if you don't put that underscore, the command will not be red. So that makes the title dark red. After that, if you want to make it bold, Put comma, two quotation marks, and a colon. In the first one, put bold. and the second one, put true. And you'll see that it doesn't work because I spelt it incorrectly. There we go. Now that works. Now obviously you can do italics. You can make a strike through. Do something like this. And you can see that it's got a line right through it. Now if you want to do the same thing as a title and make it so the title has a bold version at the start and then... A different version of it at the end. You have you can do the exact same thing as the tell raw command by putting brackets around the outside and then inside the first bracket in between the brace and the bracket put a comma and then two more braces and then inside those braces 
Do the exact same thing as the first half by putting two quotation marks, a colon, and two more quotation marks. Put in text, and then put in whatever text you want to do. So title, and then title two. I'll just use that as an example. And then obviously, copy the exact same thing you've done with the color, and then the bold, or whatever, italics, or whatever you want. So I've just gone ahead and added all of this to this command. So when I press enter, you'll see that I've got the title, and then I've got the title two. Now, if you ever wanted to do a subtitle, all you need to do is put subtitle at the start instead of title. Now, one thing to mention with the subtitle is it only actually works when you have a title going on at the same time. So if I did subtitle first, nothing's going to happen. But as soon as I put title on, they will both appear at the same time. Subtitles only work when a title is on at the same time. Action bar is the same thing concept as every other one as well. All you need to do is replace the first section with the action bar and if I press enter you'll see it actually appears just above the hot bar where usually the tool tips are. Okay and then there is also clear, reset and then times. Clear makes it so it clears all the titles on the screen. So if you want a title or subtitle appeared for only one second instead of the three seconds it's on screen you can clear it and it will clear all the titles on a player's screen. Reset kind of says it in its name and it will reset the title. And then obviously times, it will actually change how long you want the title to be on someone's screen. So times, fade in and then stay and then fade out. Which shows how long you want it to be fading in for, how long you want it to stay on the screen for, and then how long you want it to fade out for. So if I just put 3, 3 and 3, and then I do a title, you see that it comes on very quick and leaves very quick. If I now change it to 30, 30, 30, and then I put a title on, you'll see it comes on very slow and stays on the screen for a long period of time. Now, this is ticks. So if you put a T at the end of each of them, it will then change it to ticks. So how long it's on the screen for. Then we've got seconds. So would you want it to stay on the screen for 30 seconds? As you can see, I have run the command, but it's going to take 30 seconds to fade in, 30 seconds to fade out and 30 seconds it will stay on the screen. It'll be on the screen for a total of 1 minute and 30 seconds, which I don't know why you'd want to do that unless there's specific reasons, but this is a good time to show you that you can now do title at a reset, and it will just reset the title. And then there's obviously D, which stands for days. So if I do like 0.1, because it's quite a while, And I don't know why you'd want it to be days, but it's definitely going to be on the screen for quite a while. That is everything you really need to know about these commands. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learnt something from this video. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer every single one of them. And there's also going to be a link in the description if you really need help to a website called mcstacker.net, which will actually help you with so much with commands. All you need to do is tick some boxes, tick, I want this is what I want the title to be, I want it to be bold, and it will write out the command for you instead of you having to write it out. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if this was helpful, and I will see you all in the next video.